Welcome everyone. In this video, I would like to show you what my Hutao build can do against bosses and then show you my build afterwards. But before we continue, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll see our future videos. Now let's continue with the video. Okay. 
Now on to my Hutao build. Here are my attributes. Here are my talent levels. I do plan to level Hutao's skill to 8 or probably even more. But I can't right now because as of recording of this video, it's still Thursday. And the talent level up materials are on Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. Here's my constellation. My Hutao is at C0. Now for my weapon. These are all of my possible options. But in my mind, I should only consider these four. Deathmatch, Dragon's Bane, White Tassel and Black Tassel. Because of what I said in my guide video. Link will be in the description. The reason why I didn't build White and Black Tassel is because I personally don't like building 3 star gears. Especially because I have options that are better. Like the Deathmatch and Dragon's Bane. Dragon's Pain is an incredible weapon for Hu Tao. Its low base attack doesn't phase Hu Tao because her attack stat will be greatly increased based on her max HP when she uses her elemental skill. And the weapon passive increases the damage against enemies affected by Hydro or Pyro which means it's a very good weapon for vaporized team comps. But the reason I use Deathmatch over Dragon's Bane, even though they have the same base attack at max level, is because of the secondary stat which is crit rate. It helps me reach the golden ratio which is 70% crit rate, 140% crit damage, and 210% attack. Your white attack multiplied by 2.1 should be equal to your white attack plus green attack. That's what I meant by 210% attack. If you want to know more about the golden ratio, I recommend watching Tendon's video about the golden ratio. Link will be in the description. Now for my artifacts. Four set Crimson Witch is the artifact set that I use and recommend everyone to use as well. This artifact set is really great for Hu Tao. Its 2 set effect increases pyro damage bonus by 15% and its 4 set increases overloaded and burning damage by 40%. It also increases melt and vaporize damage by 15% and when Hu Tao uses her elemental skill, she gains additional 7.5% pyro damage bonus for 10 seconds. Now onto my artifact main and substats. I'm using HP% percent Sands because Hu Tao's elemental skill increases attack based on max HP. I could have used Elemental Mastery, but this is the only Elemental Mastery Sands I have right now and it has bad substats. I'm using Pyro Damage Bonus on my Goblet and Crit Damage on my Circlet. The Circlet is the main reason as to why I'm using Deathmatch because I don't have a Crit Rate which Circlet and Deathmatch has Crit Rate as secondary stat so it helps me achieve the Golden Ratio. Now to my Team Composition. Bennett, Diona, and Sing Cho. Bennett is here because he is Bennett. I would actually like to put Bennett in all of my Abyss teams because he can damage, he can heal, and he can also buff our attacks. He's just that good and he also gives Pyro Resonance with Hu Tao. Don't sleep on Bennett. If you have a Bennett, I highly recommend building him. Next is Diona. Diona is my shielder. You can use Noel, Shinyan, and Beidou, but I think Diona's shield is more efficient and useful. Because when you are shielded by Diona, your move speed is increased by 10% and your stamina consumption is decreased by 10%. This makes it so you can spam charge attacks more freely. Zhongli shield is stronger than Diona's and it also decreases enemies elemental and physical resist by 20%. So if you have a Zhongli, I recommend using him instead. Next is Xing Cho. Xing Cho is the best reaction sub DPS for Hu Tao. No one is more efficient and consistent in applying Hydro than Xing Cho. He makes it so that Hu Tao can consistently apply Vaporize Reaction, which is one of the best reactions at the moment. His Elemental Burst also persists even after Hu Tao's Elemental Skill Duration has expired. This helps your team do damage even when Hu Tao's Elemental Skill is on cooldown. You can also use Kea because he applies consistent cryo onto enemies. But the reason why I prefer Xing Cho is because Kea's Elemental Burst has a low range, that means I need to be near the enemy for my burst to apply cryo, although it's not a problem for Hu Tao. Also his talent and constellation is made for a main DPS, that's why I prefer Xing Cho over Kea as reaction sub DPS. You can also use Ganyu if you have a sub DPS, but I would recommend to put Ganyu on your other abyss team instead. Chong Yun can't really be a reaction sub DPS for Hu Tao. His elemental skill that infuses your weapon for cryo doesn't work on Hu Tao because Hu Tao's elemental skill converts all her damage into pyro. But you can use Chong Yun as a burst support, especially when you have Chong Yun on Constellation 2 
It makes it so Hu Tao's elemental skill goes off cooldown faster. I don't use Shangling on my comp because Shangling makes it hard for me to time my vaporized reactions. So I'd rather use Bennett instead. Here are some clips of me clearing Floor of Abyss with this team comp. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and found it informational. I will be posting another video about my thoughts on Hu Tao, if she is worth pulling for or skipping. So if you wanna be notified for my future video, hit that notification bell. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>